All right, now to Women's Health Wednesday. Albany County is setting a precedent for breastfeeding moms this week. Yep, a new policy approved by the legislature on Monday will now require all county office buildings to have a designated private lactation room, separate from a bathroom, by the way, mm -hmm. with an electrical outlet, a chair, a space for all of your belongings, and running water nearby. Terrific. Not every environment is a helpful one for breastfeeding moms. It can be tough. According to the CDC, 60% of moms stop breastfeeding sooner than they planned because there's a lack of support, especially when it comes to returning to the workplace after giving birth. So we spoke with local lactation expert and RN Jillian Carter to get some advice here on navigating breastfeeding on the job. She says it's all about coming prepared to that meeting with your employer, maybe your HR representative. Know your rights before you're walking through that door. In New York State, you can find them on the Department of Health website and also present that plan with your needs in mind. If you're just going into them with a blank slate and saying you're required to provide these accommodations for me, how are you going to make that happen? Sometimes that can be uh, more difficult. Here's what I think is going to work for me. Here's where my break times work. Here it is all laid out for you. It's much easier for your employer to get on board with. Good advice. Make it easy for them. Yeah. Over the past decade, most states, by the way, have ramped up breastfeeding legislation in the workplace, and it really does have a direct correlation between those rising rates in breastfeeding. Mm. Carter says she hopes more employers adopt policies that go beyond what's required under the law, because breastfeeding can provide unmatched health benefits for moms and babies alike. The whole goal is to make it easier for moms, but also make it so that it's not difficult on employers, too.